Rainbow Six Siege, Elite Skins are highly considered one of the best cosmetics that you can get for an operator, giving you a completely unique headgear, uniform, animation, and even sometimes some good weapon skins as well. These skins typically relate to the operator and their gadget, the lore, or even sometimes even a crossover with another game. However, in this video, I'm going to be going over the 10 worst Elite Skins in Rainbow Six Siege, in my opinion. And yes, you're probably going to disagree with me it's probably going to trigger a lot of people so if you disagree let me know down in the comments but without further ado if you're going to enjoy leave a like subscribe let's just jump straight into it shall we now the first elite skin i'm going to be showing off in this video is going to be the dokabi elite skin and this one is kind of known in the community for being one of the most annoying elite skins and i think everyone knows where this is going because dokabi even though she has a pretty good skin with a good headgear good uniform in my personal opinion this animation with this music absolutely deafens me in fact i'm gonna have to turn it down in my head right now and not only that but if you see this at the end of a game that you've just lost imagine it's ranked overtime match point and you lose and this animation plays it will be the most jarring thing it's happened to me multiple times and it's why i low-key have a vendetta against this skin but that is why it makes this list but the cosmetic itself ain't too bad moving on then to number nine and it has to be one of the newer elite skins it's going to be the osa elite skin now i have no idea what this elite skin is supposed to be obviously it is osa but the headgear is very uninspiring the uniform looks like something that you might see in like a battle pass or something like that and i tried going through osa's lore and her bio in game to try and understand if this relates to her at all and it vaguely does but i have no idea what it's supposed to be the animation itself is kind of like robot wars i don't know if you guys have seen that tv show but it's her like having a 1v1 versus a little toy robot either way it's very strange and i just don't see how this relates to osa as an operator at all and like i said the cosmetic itself kind of looks like something that you might find in a battle pass I don't know. The next elite skin on my hit list has to be the Kali elite skin because this thing is so goddamn uninspiring. I don't know if you guys know what Kali's default skin looks like, but if this was Kali's default skin, I don't think anyone would actually like say anything about it. It makes a lot of sense for it being her default uniform. And don't get me wrong, it's kind of cool. It's all blocked out. It's got it's got that body armor, the headgear. It's it's okay, you know what I mean? It doesn't really change too much from Kali's default skin, I don't really think. And the animation is where it really annoys me because there's nothing going on in this. They could have done so much with this elite skin and instead it's just her inspecting her weapon. Like, it's genuinely almost as bad as just not having an animation equipped at all. Overall, I definitely think Ubisoft let Kali fans down because I do know there are some dedicated Kali fans out there. The only details I like are the Nighthaven patches and her icon with her name on the back. Now with that being said, make sure you are prepared for me to start getting nitpicky because the next elite skin is something very specific about the skin that I don't like and it is the Jackal elite skin. Now the skin itself, yes it is quite bland, it is quite boring but at least it relates to Jackal being a police officer. The one thing I really don't like about this skin is the headgear that is put on him. Jackal's normal headgear, his gadget skin, looks sick and these like weird ass goggles that look like something you'd wear to like a rave is not doing it for me. It kind of looks like, as I said, like neon rave glasses and he's got like the low taper fade. It's it's very, very silly looking headgear, especially when I'm used to Jackal having this big badass like mechanism on his head and even the animation is pretty uninspiring yes it relates to him and his gadget so it gets bonus points for that but as a whole it's not really that creative is it overall it's just a skin that i don't think ubisoft cooked with too much i think they could have done a lot more for this skin but if you replace the headgear with a normal jackal headgear this will be fine next up then we have the black beard elite skin once again this skin itself isn't too bad obviously it's trying to relate to the vietnam war he's got like that vietnam war kind of army aesthetic going on which does look pretty cool but the one real annoying thing that i don't like about this elite skin doesn't actually come with the cosmetics itself it comes with the animation because once once again look how uninspiring this is i'm gonna say that a lot in this video because a lot of it is but this is 
in my opinion, a little bit more cringe than having the default animation where you literally don't do anything. And to be honest, again, I think Ubisoft could have done a lot more. It would have been cool to see some kind of animation with like his shield skin and it shattering and him having to replace it or maybe being able to take a bullet to the head and still being able to kill the person who shot at him. Something like that would have been sick, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, this is what we are stuck with. Moving on then to the next elite skin, it has to be the Frost Elite again. It's another one of those skins that I technically don't have any problems with. The cosmetics itself, like the headgear and uniform, is fine. Yes, once again, it could maybe be a little bit on the closer side to a Battle Pass skin, but either way, I do like it. And I do like the little details in the backpack here, like having the snowshoes on and the little ice climbing pickaxe. As I said, the headgear and hairstyle is a little bit unique, which is good. But again, where it falls short, in my opinion, is the animation. Now, at least they did try something unique here, but... Again, I want to see someone get caught in a goddamn frost trap and her go in and shooting them in the head. I want to see someone like that, but unfortunately, we just got her standing next to a fire. She ties her hair back. That is literally it, and it's so disappointing because this would probably be one of the elite skins I would think about getting because Frost is one of my higher played defenders right now. Now, the next elite skin is kind of like a love-hate relationship for me because we have the Mozzie elite skin, and yes, I actually do like the concept for this one. Yes, I do like the skin itself. The headgear looks good. The uniform looks good. It's got details in it that I really do like the look of, especially when you get up and close. When you get up and close a little bit too much, I really hate the way Mozzie's face looks in this. It, to me, it doesn't even look like Mozzie. I don't know what it is. He kind of like creeps me out a little bit. Uh, but other than that, the animation's quite good. It's literally just that headgear, which is unfortunate because the actual hat he's wearing is kind of cool. I just wish his face looked a little bit different, but it is what it is. Let's see the next skin. Now, just before we continue with this video, if you are enjoying, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos just like this. If you want to see me rank every single elite skin in the game from worst to best, then make sure you hit that like button because this video is in no particular order and I will rank all of them, including the new ones. But moving on to the next skin, we have the Ace Bundle. And now I know for a fact that there are people out there who do actually really like this uniform. Again, I kind of like aspects of it. There is a lot of details in there that I do like, but for me, again, headgear, not really that great. And obviously the animation kind of annoys a lot of people because it just kind of makes him look like a bit of an ass. But either way, at least there's stuff going on. The main reason why I hate this is because it kind of looks like a battle pass skin. Do you guys kind of see that? It kind of looks like a default skin if it had been recolored. If you obviously hadn't seen what Ace looks like normally, you would think that this could potentially be his default look. Let me know if you agree with me down in the comment section below, but let's move over to the next Elite skin. Now that next Elite skin is going to be the Castle Elite skin. Again, it's kind of bland. I wish it had a little bit more detail in it. Yes, the uniform's kind of cool. I really don't like the headgear. I wish they would have done something at least a little bit interesting for the headgear, but once again, you can find different headgears and mix and match them. I think he actually has one that's like a clown mask and I could picture the clown mask on this and it looking kind of like a payday skin. That's the kind of vibe it's giving off here and I do actually kind of like it. But it's just that headgear. It doesn't really look that good to me. One of the better things about this elite skin is if you look over here, it actually has one of the better gadget skins in the entire game. It changes the way his barricade looks and it puts a, a red dog on it, which is kind of, kind of awesome. I'm not gonna lie. But as a whole, this skin is not too bad. Once again, it's just little nitpicky things now that I don't like about some of these skins. And then finally, the last elite skin of this video is probably one that you're not expecting. It's actually not in the shop or available to purchase anymore. It's actually the free Outbreak event elite skin that you could get for playing the Outbreak event. Now, I actually own this skin as well as the other variation of it. And to be completely honest, it's kind of boring as an elite skin itself. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the actual animation for it, but this is the headgear, which kind of looks like a default ash headgear to be completely honest it's just kind of got more realistic colors to it i guess you could say the uniform once again is fine but it's kind of boring as i said earlier and then for the victory animation this is what made it go in this top 10 list because it's literally just ash 
on the phone and for it being for the outbreak event i really wish there was like some zombie action going on in this or something like that you know what i mean but unfortunately it's just her taking a phone call probably from Dokovi. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that has been my 10 least favorite Rainbow Six Siege Elite skins. If you agree, hit that like button. If you disagree, hit that like button and let me know your reason why down in the comments. But make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're down there. But until the next video, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.